Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Cascade DOS virus. This is one of my favorites, just due to its ingenious payload. So we'll go ahead and run it here. Now the virus is present in memory and will infect files. So, graphics is now infected, and DOS key, and it activates as long as the date is after, I think, November 30th, 1988. As long as the date is anywhere after that, it will always do its payload. So it's best to have a full screen of characters, and about a minute after you run an infected file, it will start displaying its payload, which is pretty cool. So, I don't know, what should we do while we wait for it? How about we run format for no reason, just a bunch of executables to infect them. Gotta wait for it. There we go. As you can see, Cascade's payload makes it find individual letters on the screen and then move their position down as far as they can go without hitting another letter. And then after it does it for the first time, it'll keep doing it every 30 seconds. And computing is impossible while it's dropping the letters on the screen. And so, it's really entertaining but pretty annoying if you're trying to get work done and all your work just keeps dropping to the bottom of the screen. Wait for it to go again, we'll let it run its course. Oh, it also clicks the PC speaker while it does it, so try and listen for that. It's a little quiet on this computer. Wait for it. We'll do it with a little less text so we don't have to wait as long for it to finish. There we go. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. Yeah, that's about it for the Cascade virus. We'll just let it finish up here. There you go. Now you can begin computing again. And that's about it.